हेलो फ्रेंड्स डू यू रिमेंबर मी और फॉगॉट जस्ट जोकिंग डू यू रिमेंबर वॉट आई टोल्ड यू रिगार्डिंग दिस वीडियो आई नो यू मस्ट रिमेंबर इट इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एड एन नंबर्स गिव एन एट कमांड लाइन यूजिंग वाइल लू बिफोर लर्निंग ऑल दिस लेट मी टेल यू सम बेसिक्स ऑफ वाइल लू आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग द सिंटेक्स ऑफ वाइल लू द लॉजिक बिहाइंड द वाइल लू at using the notepad file the syntax of while loop is while put some condition over here opening curly braces then the body of while loop and closing curly braces friends what is the meaning of condition meaning of condition means this while loop will continue to execute the body of it till the value given over here is true suppose if you are giving i is less than equals to 5 it means if the value of i is 1 body of while loop will be executed and the value of i is 5 body of while loop will be executed again if the value of i is greater than 5 this while loop will not work it will be stopped so this is the basic concept of while loop so using this while loop i am trying to add n numbers given at command line friends some doubts may be occurred in your mind like how many arguments are given at command line because while execution we can give different number of arguments every time sometime we can give three arguments sometime we can give five arguments and so on as i told you in my previous video that all command line arguments are automatically be stored in array args and every array has a property length which tells total elements in that array so i am using that property length second doubt may be how many variables should be taken except args the answer is we need two extra variables one for starting the loop and another for summation of values okay friends let's make the program public static void main this string args i told you just while ago we need two more variables one for starting the loop let's assume i is a variable and the initial value give the initial value of that variable is 0 and another variable let assume sum also we initialize by 0 start the while loop and give the condition i is less than args dot length i told you just while ago length is a property of an array and it tells about total elements in that array it means if you gave two arguments at command line the length will be 2 and if you gave five arguments at command line it will return 5 inside the while loop i put the logic sum is equals to sum plus args i but args is in a string format that is why we have to convert it into integer okay it here dot parse in and then arc i it means first time arc 0 is converted into the string and that will be added to the previous value of sum second time when the value of i is 1 arc 1 will be added to the sum increase the value of i by 1 i++ it means every time 
द वैल्यू ऑफ आई विल बी इंक्रीज बाय वन क्लोजिंग करली प्लेसिस ऑफ आई लुक एट द एंड ऑफ आई लुक जस्ट पुट द लाइन सिस्टम डॉट आउट डॉट प्रिंट एल एन एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ सम ओवर हेयर सो यू पीपल आर वॉचिंग दैट I made the program for addition of n numbers. The initial value of i is zero. It will start from zero. Increase the value of i by one. Every time it will check the value of i, current value of i, whether it is less than arcs dot length or not. If it is true, then the current value of argument will be added to the variable sum. at the end of loop it will print the value of sum okay now save this file here i am giving the name add n numbers dot java i have saved this file with this name here i am on the path where i save the file add n numbers compile it add n numbers dot java oh there is an error what type of error yeah of course we didn't close the class okay save it again and then recompile the code now there is no error execute the program add n numbers and i am giving three numbers 1 2 and 3 what will be the output can you guess let's see yeah the output is correct it add all three numbers okay let us assume suppose i am giving another argument 4 and then check whether it will give the correct output again yeah there is correct output it means our program is fully correct Okay friends i think you understood all the explanation if you have any problem any doubt just put your comments and you can also download the code from the website i'm sure you will definitely make this program in my next video i'll explain one program which is commonly asked in interview or in placements guess guess can't think don't worry i am telling about the program of fibonacci series thank you